Hey YouTube, Diesel Dan back again, uh, working on a 2015 CXU 613. Uh, this truck came in with multiple issues. Um, found a few things wrong with it. EGR core was one of them. I was having some <clears throat> issues with the turbo actuator. Um, I already had a turbo ordered for this truck previous, but then it went out on the road and disappeared for a while. So I finally got it back, so I'm trying to take care of all the issues this was having. Um, the harness, there was issues with the harness, so the harness is replaced. Uh, I do have the new style fan hub on it, as you can see in there. It comes all as a unit. Well, as pieces, you have to change the pulley, the spacer, the hub, and the fan blade. The old fan blade will not bolt to the new one. Um, I'm doing the coolant pipes that go around the back of the engine. They were all rotted out. There's the one that goes by the turbo. They were rotted out right here in this area. Right here. Pretty bad. So I'm waiting on the other one. It's on back order. Uh, also did the DPF filter while I was here. Um, I did have a message the other day. One of my subs was having an issue with efficiency. Um, you might want to stay tuned because I do have a truck with pretty much the same issue. It's an efficiency issue. Um, I know the filter hasn't been done in a while. I want to show you something I found. Last year when I started doing my filter changes, I was doing the knock sensors. And the aftermarket ones all seem to be giving me issues. And I was dealing with Mac a few months back. And they told me they will not use them in the shop because they were having a ton of issues with them too. So if you did go with the aftermarket knock sensors, that may be part of your issue. But with the information he was giving me, sounds more like he's losing heat or pressure somewhere. So um, I don't know if he has a laptop where he can run the regen and check pressures and temps and stuff like that. But you don't want to lose any heat. You want to make sure your gray crush gaskets are intact, not rotted away or brittle. Um, this pipe last year I seen was rubbed, had some issues, so that finally showed up. That was on back order. So I had some efficiency issues with this truck now, hoping this will fix all this. Um, here's the rest of the pipe. The seventh injector will be getting replaced. I will be doing the other two crush gaskets on this. And like I said, the aftermarket knock sensors, this cover was actually a blue color. The originals are black. So you might want to keep an eye out for that. I thought they weren't an issue, but it comes out they are an issue. Um, I want to show you what I got left going on this truck. So I'm on this side of the engine, finishing up the pipe work and stuff. Had to take all the pipes apart and clean them up. They were sooted up pretty bad, especially the intake. The intake was really bad. The actual boost and air temp pressure switch in the back of the intake was just so covered up it wasn't even reading anymore. Um, as I mentioned before with the new aftermarket harnesses, you will have to break a little tab in here in order for this to plug into the Delta P. This plug will not plug in unless you remove one of the tabs. I do have the old harness here, so I will match it up to see which tab I have to break off. It's one of these little notches in here. It doesn't take much. A little pair of pliers, it just breaks right off. There's a, another shot of the hub. Uh, this truck lost the belt one time and tore the wires all up, so and I was having some codes for that. But I'm over in this area today. I'm working on trying to get some of these coolant pipes wrapped up. I wanna show you what I got going on here. I'm not liking this issue here. I've noticed this on a few of my older trucks. These are really starting to rot out pretty bad. So I do have the new one here. This piece is available. Um, goes like this. The only thing is the lines don't come pre-made anymore. So you do have to get the lines and the fitting. 
from Mac. So I will start working on that today. So I did pull the batteries out of this to try to give me some more room. Um, I think they just go right down to there. I don't know if I have any issues with those lines there. But if they don't seal up, I'll have to make them. They only go to about the end of there. I don't know if you can see it, but they go right to about the end of that bracket there. They go into the DPF tank. So that's where I'm at today. I got the two coolant lines going to the air compressor. I did replace the air compressor since I had the engine apart. It was only three bolts at that point. Um, this is an over the road truck, so he kind of disappeared for a while. So I don't want him to have any issues. So I did go a little overboard on this one, making sure everything was right, updated, and good to go for him. Because he runs pretty hard. And uh, we do work for the power plants in the U.S., so we really can't have trucks down. So they're pretty lenient on what they let me do here, as you can see. If there's something I don't like, I replace it. Just because the cost of road failures and everything else, even to get road service out anymore, can take forever. And downtime is just too costly at this point. So, I'm doing one truck at a time, trying to get everything updated. And as they're getting older and older, we're starting to see issues you've never seen before. So, that's why I'm trying to update a lot of this stuff. And uh, keep them on the road, keep, keep them making money. Alright guys, stay tuned. I'll uh, post some more when they come up. Thanks guys.